The push for mandatory bike helmets has many cyclists spinning their wheels. I think wearing helmets is clearly common sense. People probably wouldn't follow it anyway, I'd say, unless they started giving horrendous tickets. Ontario's chief coroner is urging the province to make bicycle helmets mandatory for cyclists of all ages to help cut down on preventable cycling fatalities. Currently, only cyclists under the age of 18 legally have to wear a helmet. And why don't you wear one? Uh, it's, I'm not comfortable with it. Like, it, it, it irritates my head. Injuries can be pre prevented so much by just wearing the helmet, and it's not a big deal to have it. Some reports say helmets reduce the rate of brain injuries by about 90%. British Columbia, however, is under pressure from cycling groups to repeal its mandatory bike helmet law after conflicting reports about how effective helmets have been. I don't think mandatory helmets is the right way to go. Cycle Toronto says helmets don't bring down collision rates in the city. The only way to achieve that is to, you know, get more bike lanes, allow cyclists more space on the roadways. Uh, so for, from that perspective, um, you know, helmets are good, bike lanes are better. For others, there's concern about becoming a nanny state. Perhaps this country is a little bit over too uh, regulated, so there has to be some freedom, I think, but people have to use their common sense. But some say rules that seem like they're common sense now weren't always seen that way. 35 years ago, Ontario's seatbelt laws were initially met with resistance. When seatbelts came in, there was a huge uproar that it was going to be uh, uh, an impact on drivers. All it has done is save lives. The Ontario Safety League says bottom line, bike helmets save lives. Bike helmets, life jackets, there's any number of safety features that we should just implement because it's the right thing to do and not worry about the political backlash or somebody opening a Facebook account to oppose it. At this point, there's no commitment from the province to implement mandatory helmet use. Meanwhile, the transportation minister says the report will be reviewed and assessed.